I don't know what it is, but lately trolls have come out of the woodwork to call me a non-professional audio engineer, a nobody. And my response to that is check out this mix that I did, compare it with the recordings that were made on high-end equipment. Do you wanna be my baby? Cause it's good. And here's another one. The mix went from this. Buried out by the old. To this. Buried out by the old. And from this. Do this. So while I may not be a famous engineer like Chris Lord Algae, Andy Wallace, or Sylvia Massey, and I may not have a studio with an expensive console in it, the point of this YouTube channel from the beginning was to show that yes indeed, if you mixed and recorded in a room like mine, in a room like Studio A or Studio B, the basement, uh, in a room like Studio C, which was a bedroom, Yes, indeed, you could get a professional sounding mix. It may not have been done with fancy equipment, but as the years have gone on, the plugins have gotten better. And in fact, now you can mix with cloud analog audio hardware services like Mix Analog and Access Analog. The democratization of music production has basically been completed. And I've never... Never try to say that I am a famous engineer. There are other famous engineers on YouTube now making videos. But I can make something that sounds excellent without spending a lot of money. And that's always been the point of this channel. One day I may mix or record a band that blows up, that signs a big record label deal. You never know. And at that point, I could say, oh yes, I recorded or I mixed or I mastered that musician but it really all boils down to money a lot of times trust me i've tried to get music that i've made onto local radio stations they have no interest in talking to me by the way if you're new to this channel and you haven't checked out the older videos they do not get old the information basically stays the same the products may get newer but the foundational education elements does not change